Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. The purpose of this Technical Note is to show you how to get time simply and quickly on your ESP32 or ESP8266. Here's an example of an 8266 with a 1.3 inch OLED display showing time and date. And it's alternating between European and US format just to show you how quickly and easily it is to get those formats on screen. And there are examples on my GitHub page. So once again, the purpose of this video is to show you how you can stop being baffled and confused and, and, and having to read complex code to get time and date because it really is simple. So there are really only six lines required, um, two in the setup, config time and set the environment variable. I'll explain those later. Uh, get the time now, convert the time, set up a variable to hold the time output and use the C++ string format time function. And that's it. And then if you serial print time, you will see the result there, Saturday the 20th of April at 12.31, 45 seconds. Really easy. Here's a time and date program function, a whole sketch, which is on GitHub. Sets up the time servers, sets the environment variable, and just loops around printing date and time. The bits in yellow are the functions you can vary to change the output format. So here's just time. There's a function called percent %t, which will show you 24 hour time format, or a function called percent %r if you're in the USA, and it'll give you um, hours, minutes, seconds, and AM and PM indicator. And here, same for just date, uh, day, month, year, or month, day, year. So those parameters in the string format time function determine what's going to be returned. If you put date slash month slash year, you will get the forward slash or full stops or colons anything you like so the hyphen hyphen so percent d hyphen could be percent d colon or anything you like text so if you want to uh, format time you need to get a posix uh, format time zone code and uh, you can visit that web page there where most of the references are held and uh, but I've listed there the most common ones that I've seen for most parts of the world. They're from the uh, POSIX master database. So your variable called time zone needs to contain that string. Uh, in my case, GMT, zero hours and British summer time. This is the POSIX time zone code format. Um, in my case, it's Greenwich Mean Time in orange with a zero hour offset because I'm on Greenwich Mean Time and as I'm in daylight saving when I'm in British summer time. So that zero denotes your hours from Greenwich Mean Time. The month number is when daylight saving starts. So 1 January 12 December. So M3 for me is uh, March. The week number is the week number in which daylight saving starts. So two means week two or five. Sometimes there are four weeks, but five weeks. But five always means the last day that you designate of the month. And zero is Sunday, the blue Sunday. Monday is one, Tuesday two, and so on. The, and then 01 in red, the hour when daylight saving changes. In my case, it's at one o'clock in the morning and then it reverts back at two o'clock in the morning. 
So you can make up your own daylight saving codes, but visit the web page that I've provided the link to and you can find your code for anywhere in the world. The string format time function is very powerful. It uses a series of parameters in the top line there. A means day of the week, D day of the week, date, day, sorry, uh, M month, Y year. And there are about 40 different formats, but I've given you some examples there. Um, but there are some shortcuts, for example, percent %t gives you the current uh, time, 24-hour format, including seconds. Similarly, percent %r is the US format time. Note that you can vary the text between parameters, so percent %m forward slash d gives you that forward slash, or you could put a colon on there or anything you like. You could add week number the, the the combinations are limitless uh, so very powerful fairly easy to use just pick your format code that you want you might just want uh, sunday in full rather than sun so you there's a code for that one as well So in summary, then, it's a simple no-fuss solution to provision of NTP time on your ESP device. All your daylight saving functions are provided uh, through the time zone code. Uh, you can create your own time zone codes. You don't have to use those POSIX ones. The time library will follow what you've, uh, how you've formatted it. It's an easy way of converting date and time formats between countries. Significantly less code required. I've seen some hugely complex time routines simply not required. So I've put quite a lot of examples in my uh, Radio Amateur Call Sign G6EJD GitHub repository for your use. And I hope you find them useful. Thank you. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.